Hey guys, welcome to the Shishiri. I'm PC Nakt and this is our working space. Uh, I'm, uh, I've been lucky to be in great bands like Warren Suicide and Apparat and many more. And also many of the Berlin artists, some of you might be familiar with, recorded their albums in here. So this is uh, sort of a sacred space and I'm happy to uh, welcome you here. Today I'm gonna show you this beautiful instrument. Uh, it's a disc piano. Uh, there's a couple of companies doing it. I'm using a Yamaha as they gave it to me to write some music, uh, I'm, which I appreciate a lot. And uh, I want to show you uh, what you can do with this instrument and also tell you though that you can do this with any other master keyboard or any synthesizer. You don't need a disc piano to do what I'm going to do. But I just want to demonstrate what could be done and you might apply it to your own writing process. So um, here we go. I thought of uh, some chords that I like to record and let's see what we can do with it. Not the best take in the world, but it should not matter at all. So now let's bring in the MIDI. It's pretty cool. And now what I would like to do is to add some movement. So let's turn on the arpeggiator in Logic. So now we get this, this movement with, which gives a lot of energy, I think. But the sound is not really cool. So it's, although it's my favorite synth, my favorite inbox synth, which is the synth plant, I use a lot to do some crazy sound designing. Uh, but in order to give it some live feel, I will send it out into my other favorite tools. I only have favorite tools, uh, which is the Sherm filter bank. And let's see what that does. and it doesn't always do what you want.
get the idea. Pretty cool. And also with this MIDI stuff, you can bring in any any synth you like, any sounds you like, and extract. I don't know the bass notes or the high notes, and completely sound design your simple piano track and make it uh, totally electronic or ambient, um, and actually gain a, a whole production just out of this one piano part. Um, I will now show you what happens if I send the MIDI back to the disc piano and let's record that. Um, now I can change the, the key, the arpeggiating, uh, everything of, of the piano. Let's hear it. See, now I can control it with my uh, MIDI stuff. Or this is what I played with the arpeggiator. And, and even more, all your chords and all your MIDI effects can be applied to that. I would spend a lot of time on really figuring out when to do exactly what sort of arpeggiator or what octave. Or the, Actually, I would play it, not just have it run through. But I think it's okay to dem for demonstration now. Yeah, nice. Nice, very nice. I was looking forward to adding some hi-hats, some live drumming. And to do so, I brought the Archive Rhythm Wolf. It has a very bad image, I think, though that it's a super cool, fun uh, tool um, that allows you to play it very nicely. So that's why I used it a lot. Uh, because I don't like, I don't know, Ableton to run through and everything sounds static. I, I, I like the movement in the sounds so that you don't have to add so many sounds ch by changing the ones you have. Sometimes the timing is a little off, but you shouldn't b be bothered by it. Just move, move the files after the recording to where you think it's in the pocket. <laughs> Okay, let's listen to it once. Forgive the chaos. I understand that there needs editing and mixing and stuff. You don't need a million tools, uh, nothing. Just have a simple, cool idea, and then you can build your music around this idea, from this idea, actually using your initial idea and, and arrange the whole track accordingly. Most people uh, think that they need ideas and ideas and ideas and layer them, but what you get is, uh, can be super nice, of course, but also makes it uh, complex and usually sound quality uh, gets slightly lost by adding too much stuff and you want to uh, uh, focus on your key idea so that the listener follows the initial idea and not gets lost with it. So I think this was a good demonstration for that and uh, if you have any questions or comments just uh, contact us. I'll be happy to uh, answer and learn from you guys also. And uh, yeah, have fun creating and see you soon.